morning. I'm Ms. Lisa Noble, CEO and founder of Empower Women of Faith and Purpose. And yes, I am a certified life coach. I'm always excited about sharing my expertise with you guys. So therefore, for all the new people, let's jump right into some of our pre-session etiquettes. Again, I'm just repeating real quickly. Push the sign up button at the top of our page to sign up for my empowerment newsletter where I will share with you, you will receive life and business tips straight to your inbox and I do not tolerate spam. Therefore, you will, I will always, my intentions are always to empower you um, through email and through our interactions on Facebook. And then secondly, of course, as I always say, please like and share this video as together we are creating an empowerment movement. And today I have some exciting things for you. So let's get started. So if you are already on this Facebook Live, again, go ahead and shout out your city or your state so I can see you. And even if I don't shout you out now, you know that I will shout you out as soon as I get on off of the Facebook Live, so thank you. I will strive to give you a shout out because I am so appreciative that you're here. So today we're going to talk about how to have an attitude of gratitude, three keys. And actually that's going to consist of the how-to. And I'm going to explain that real briefly here as we're going forward. So everyone thinks that developing an attitude of gratitude will happen overnight. We believe that by making a few simple changes in our lives, all will be well, the world will be beautiful, and everything will be all right, right? We will instantly learn the keys and tools and tricks which will lead us in becoming more thankful and more gracious instantly, right? When in all actuality, having an attitude of gratitude, or rather developing one, is a process. It takes time. And if you are already, if you already have other issues which overlay who we are striving to be, striving to be thankful is as putting on a costume, listen to me carefully, to make us think or appear that we are in an excellent life and life and socially accepted. My question then would be, be doing you accept do you accept you? Because it becomes necessary to understand self-love. Thank you for the love family. Think about it this way. We are positive. We are thankful and we are grateful, right? Then that means that we have to be accept accepted. Because after all, to be thought of as a grateful person is satisfactory. That means you're good. You're so positive. Hold up one minute. Please lay that mask down right now for a moment. To get to the how to have an attitude of gratitude, we must first journey with the how to. So, your empowerment subject for today is how to have an attitude of gratitude, three tips, but these three keys are going to cover first the how to. So, this is part one on one. Key, key number one is to analyze your mindset. We may need a mindset tune-up. Everything in life begins with our thinking, people. Our mindsets are what sets us apart from the rest. That's what gives you your distinctiveness, your character. Before we can have an attitude of gratitude, mindset reconstruction may be in order. A quick, painless, and non-superficial way of learning more about you is by journaling. Journaling. I know it might seem so cliche. However, you will be amazed at how much you learn about yourself through self-reflection. How to have an attitude of gratitude means how to think clearly by releasing all things that could potentially hinder us from being our best self, right? So key number two, thank you for still being here with me. Key number two is Self-awareness. Once we begin writing in our journals, at least for a week, I want to challenge you of doing it. A week or two. Writing everything that comes to your mind. There is no limits here because in, at the end of the day, when we journal, it is a form of self-healing, okay? It is a form of self-healing. And what you're going to discover is that there may be issues that you never realized was an issue. This is what I would refer to as purging. Purging would be as changing your oil in a car. After so many miles, your engine can be potentially damaged, right? If we do not get a new oil change or even a tune-up for the car to run effectively and efficiently, right? Same things when we reference purging, emotional purging. We must change our mindset, yet we sometimes, we won't know how ugly the oil is until we remove it out of the car, right? 
Writing your writing in your journal will help you to reset your emotional oil. Taking care of your emotional engine through self-awareness is giving you empowerment. It's learning who you are. And finally, key number three, dun dun dun, dun is take a retrospective hard look at your attitude. That's right, family. Take a retrospective hard look at your attitude. Not your neighbor. Not the lady who cut you off on the highway the other day. Not the bad day that you had at your job and your job and your boss angered you. Look at you and your attitude. What you often hear to be proactive, la di da di la di da di da di da di right? We have to be proactive in our attitude. But at the end of the day, the real deal is the real deal is that's not always realistic. Hello. However, what I can say is if your attitude is not managed effectively, it will be difficult to form interpersonal and lasting bonds. How can you have an attitude change? Key number one, check your mindset and give it a quick tune-up. Key number two, we talked about. Secondly, becoming self-aware and own who you are. And lastly, remember, you have to look at your attitude because it's so trivial to living in a state of gratitude. In order to live in a state of gratitude, we got to make sure we have the right mindset. We got to make sure that we have the right attitudes or else being in uh, uh, or practicing self-awareness or attitude of gratitude will be just like a mask. You're just putting on another costume walking through your day-to-day -day life. So this is part one. Please join me tomorrow for part two so you can learn what actually is the attitude of gratitude. I value for you for stopping by today and listening to me for a moment. And I thank you so much. Please remember that to share this video and sign up for my newsletter. Share this video and sign up for this newsletter. And I will see you right here next time. You guys have a blessed day. And thank you for being so patient with my little technical faux pas. You have a blessed day. And I will see you right here next time. Bye-bye.